Hey everybody, Kathleen Gamer. Welcome back to Tennis Manager 23. This is episode 21. I was going to settle in and rush through a few week period off camera, and then three days later, big shocking news, Erhobo, our new athlete, has picked up an injury. They say it's serious. Uh, it's just a sprained finger, but apparently it's the wrong finger really affecting her grip on the racket, you would assume. And therefore, she's going to be out for three to four weeks plus, close to a month. That's that's a pretty big blow. However, with her goals being quite attainable, she'll be all right. But uh, disappointing news to start the season here. Meanwhile, I have a few weeks of training here for Clarice. So I'm hoping to take advantage of that and set her up for uh, the next stretch of the season. Thurman made pretty solid gains over this three-week stretch. Her physical average now right on a 14. Stamina, which is what I'm now doing in a short term, just trying to get it to 10. Just hitting double digits, getting halfway there. She really doesn't need much. 10's pretty good for this level. So that, that'll come and happen pretty soon. But in the meantime, the mental, that positioning, I finally got from a 10 or 11 up to that 13 that magic number that I was looking for so I'm done in the mental category for a while the physical category it's all 13 plus so I'm done there for seemingly a little bit besides that stamina one and then in the technical the ones that I need to be there they're all 13 plus already they're all 13s and 14s as it is so the spins and the volley, I, I might work on those a little bit just to get something, some sort of skill shot for her to, to help out. But I think I'll, I'll head back to the speed, the footwork, the balance, get those up to about a 15 or 16 before we uh, progress too rapidly anywhere else because that is our bread and butter. And while we're good in that department now, we're, we're definitely not great and we're certainly not elite either so uh, going from good to great in that category I think would be kind of the next overall step but I, I may take a minute in the technical to, to get a couple of those up a little bit so I have a 140 level tournament here for Clarice she's a two seed which is pretty solid but we have a difficult set of rounds here uh, there's a lot of quality down at our end of the bracket for sure Despite that first round is a win, 6-3, 6-3, especially with the form dropping off a little bit with three weeks off. But Thurman's improvement is definitely showing up. Francesca Di Lorenzo, who we just beat in the second round, her rank is, what, 30, 40 spots below us. It's, it's not far. But here's the thing. We completely controlled the match, the good and the bad of it. The match was entirely in the hands of Thurman. 47 winners to 14 plus 34 massive margin but also the unforced errors minus 13 the 20 mistakes that we made every point was ultimately decided by us and the, this is what i was talking about with the improved positioning along with good physicals it gets harder and harder for others unless they have immense quality to actually beat us this is really evidenced by 67 points being decided by Thurman. Quarterfinal against an unseated but highly ranked 131 uh, Katie Volinitz. And all of the players that are left now are top 160 as it is. This one was definitely a bit closer. Uh, at least in the second set, the first set, we completely dominated. We do come away with another victory here and again controlling the match. Only plus 12 on the winners, only plus one on the unforced errors. It was not a dominant performance, but it clearly shows when a majority of the points are being decided by Thurman one way or the other, her ability to now take control of a match is becoming evident. And this is against somebody who's ranked you know, 131. This is a pretty high ranking, certainly higher than the juniors that we're used to going up against of late. First final slot has gone to the one seed who is just four spots above us in the rankings. I currently sit right at 100 for Thurman. So we have hit 100 for the first time. But can we make a final? Can we win what would be our highest level? 
Uh, two big questions still to be answered on that one. Semifinal, I'll go ahead and quick sim. But if we make that final, this is playing for our biggest victory to date. We will see the final, though it took three sets to get there. Losing the second set in a beyond tiebreaker where we lose with eight points, 6-3, 6-7, 6-1. Uh, this time we didn't control the match actually, so we were minus nine on winners. We were minus two on unforced errors, but we took 55% of the points despite that. Came down to the unforced errors that saw us be in the uh, better position. Sorry, the, f the unforced errors was an area where we were minus two. We made a little more mistakes, but in the forced errors, that was where we really, really shined. We were plus 32 in the forced errors department. I assume that that is uh, the difference, the forced errors. So unforced errors should be the mistakes that you make with an easy to play ball. A forced error is where you have difficulty reaching a ball. You get to it, you play it, but you're not able to play it in because of how hard it was. Right. You're not straight up beaten, but the ball back across the net does not make it in play, and it came down to how difficult of a ball it was to play in the first place. You got a piece of it, but you didn't get it back over the net, or you got a piece of it, and it went wild. We only made 10 of those mistakes. Meanwhile, McNally makes 42 of them. Not looking great as we enter this one. We'll see what they label us as mentally as Anna Bondar of Hungary is our opponent here. 5-2 and two on the year for her. Perfect on the season so far for Thurman. Six career titles to three. Tie. First Just set. behind her in the ranking. Much better in the stamina department. She attacks the net right off the bat to win the first point. Uh, but starting that little bit disadvantage in the stamina could give us some help. We are thrilled. She is enthusiastic. Overall, though, mentally, it's a mixed bag. We do have some areas where she's a bit concerned, a bit overwhelmed by the occasion here, realizing that this is the biggest final that she has been in to this point on the senior circuit. And certainly not having had any success in the junior department in a similar fashion. Game. And that first game is a loss, but we were receiving, so let's see what we can do here. With serve, quick point there. Quick point there, and it's 30 love. Oh, and the ace, 40 love. And we <laughs> back to back aces, and we win the first game. Dang. Nice return on that one, as she does seem to have a tendency to attack the net right after she serves. And as I'm aggressive and powerful on my return, it, it could and should put us in a position to win a number of points. Second set. Still up on this one. Be nice to break pretty early, but it is 30 all now. There you go. Got it. She doesn't have the quickest defeat. Or at least reactions, actually. I think overall, she. Our opponent has good speed, based on the uh, scatter report that I was looking at. She has good top speed, but I think it's more about her reaction time and or positioning. That's making it rough for her. Uh, we went from position to be ready to have a break point, and instead we had the unforced error where we went just a little too long and missed. Otherwise, it would have scored that point, gave her the advantage, which she... Second set. turned into uh, the game victory but you can see just how dominant we are with serve right now over her and through two games receiving 30, on the return Second set. we've made it tough we just haven't managed to win either of them yet so from the early feel of these first four games we should be comfortable with service uh, and we'll break her at some point you would think like an hour playing early on though after a quick 30 love advantage in this game we did make a couple mistakes there but then two points later it's two all
Rough game there, and it's three games too. Her advantage on that one. Ooh, that one on the line just about. And that one I thought was going to hit the net, but it snuck over. Nice little drop shot there. 30-15. Little mistake, otherwise this game has been all us. 40-15, that one seemed pretty uh, reachable, but she didn't get it. And there we go, we get past that attack the net. The attack the net, something she does frequently. Seeing it more and more, back-to-back -back points there, she attacks the net. It's pretty clear that's part of her game. Yeah, we've had big success when she's attacked the net, but I think we've had a decent amount of success. Oh, great return there. Did we get that one? That one was right down the middle of the line, but I'm not sure they gave us that call, and as a result, she wins the game. So I thought we should have been 40-15 at that point, but it was 30-all. I might have just read that situation wrong. I thought we were leading 30-15 on that point, and then we went, won it, making it 40-15, but it was showing 30-all. So, yeah, not sure. But here we are, 40-15 to equalize after she ended up taking that game. Four games all. It's already, what, second, third time she's had a let? Fifteen oh. Fifteen all. Thought we had her there for a second, but she uh, was able to extend well across her body to reach that one. Kept it alive, ended up winning the point. Four. Second service. Game. Five games to four. Thought that was one we should have reached. Fifteen low. Both players hold and serve throughout this first set. Nice ace. What do you love? She's really only challenged us once uh, when we've served. So out of five games, she's only put up a challenge on us once. And we've comfortably won four. That was well beyond the line. The very, 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 very edge of the ball over the line. And she got the call there. So that was a really harsh decision on us. Uh, but in five games, we put in a good, hard, proper challenge three times. In five games, we've put in a decent challenge a fourth time. She only beat us comfortably once, now twice, as she really got comfortable in that game. Uh, but it looks like it's going to come down to a tiebreaker. Surprised we didn't get the call on the ace, considering the call she got. A game ago. As we saw much more of the line than she had. And good position. Oh. There's there's the forced error, right? She just reaches that ball. The ball was out. The ball was out by inches, was it not? Man, my eyes are playing tricks on me right now. That ball was four or five inches out from my eyes, what I saw in real time. Obviously no replay on it, and they moved on to the next point quite quickly, but we are leading 2-1 now. But it could be four, could be four love at this point. That one, that was a solid winner. Her first. And we lead 4-2 in this tie break. So all the way, no breaks. For either player and while yes we were certainly closer to achieving one service was service with service she's been good hard to beat she wins that one there as well five three now can we get a mini break no we don't she takes them both it's five four rare attacking of the net and the unforced error But we get that one. So she gets a little mini break to stay alive. It's 6 5. Six, oh. Is that a forced error or was that a forced error? Either way, it was an error. And now we trail 6 7. 
set point. Looked comfortable. Seven but we stay alive. Seven all. Must win point, I think. Especially the way things are going. And there you go. Forced air. Eight seven. There you go. And we got it. That was pretty tight. That whole set was pretty tight, right? We just about had the av uh, the advantage all the way through. We outplayed her by the smallest of margins. And in the tie break, we outplayed her by the smallest of margins. But that is one set to the good for us. Can we take take this home? Second set. Into the second set. Now, if it does go to a third set, one thing favoring us, one thing going our way, is the stamina is very much in our favor. However, she's not looking overly fatigued here. I mean, she is a bit more tired than we are, but getting below that 50% threshold where she's going to start losing some accuracy, she's got a long ways to go. It's going to be well into a third set before it's much of a problem. Though, if this set, if... If this stays like the first game, where uh, the first set, where we held serve, and neither one could break, that that could be a factor, right? If we go to tie breaks again, in the same manner, I could see this set her being below that 50% mark. We win the first game, which we served. She's now serving and leading in this second game. Gonna take a little 40, bit. Oh, very unforced on that one. Comfortable position, but put it in the net. There you go. Out. That's 40, out. Searching. Hard to say whether that was forced or unforced. Deuce. Wasn't the easiest ball for her to reach, but she was Advent. well positioned for it. Break looking unlikely at the moment. Neither of us have had too many break points. Deuce. Have we had any break points? Deuce. Advantage. Right back to advantage. I'm not sure there's been a break point in this match as of yet. She certainly didn't put us in that position. And we never got to advantage here. In fact, just seeing advantage at all has been a rarity. That ball. Half on the line. No call. The would have been ace ends up in her point, and then the unforced error, and we trail for maybe the first time with service this whole match. And she only challenges us once, and it's 15-40. One rough call, we'd be up 40-30 right now, right? It would have been 30 all. That time we get the almost ace, we get the forced error, and now advantage. So the first break points Jeez. have been achieved through a pretty rough right. call. Second first time we get the advantage of let happening. Deuce. Back to Deuce. She's had multiple Second break points here. Out. And that's out. We have advantage. Four. Second Good seconds are... Oh! When we hit it, thought it was in. Advantage. They went a little bit long, but we're back to advantage. Come on. There it is. That time it is. And we do win that game. That game would have been much shorter, much easier. If we had gotten the call, that obviously I felt we should have gotten more on the line than out of the line. Means that should be touching the line and being just in. Didn't get the call. That game went down to the wire. But in the end, we pulled it out. 2 1. 30 all. That's just out. Definitely not on the line. Definitely beyond. Didn't touch it at all, but it was close. Ooh. That was our first break point, by the way. So it's finally starting to turn. We're, we're both starting to pick up the return game a little bit better all of a sudden here in this second set. Back to deuce. Second set. Advantage. Can't reach that one. 
Kind of got our feet tangled up underneath us there. Deuce. Staying alive. Deuce again. She gets that call. Again, she gets that call. She's gotten that call multiple times. And I am not getting that call at all. Harsh. Really harsh refereeing decisions here. And again, it turns the game. So. Really disappointed in some refereeing decisions at the moment. Nice winner. 30-15. Must win game. Otherwise, we give up some key momentum. We've had some tight, tight games with some close breaks. It's good to get a comfortable one there. Wow, nice return. Very nice winner. 15 love. Playing that edge. Not really working her side to side at the moment. Finally take her to the left, then to the right. That's all it took. Wow, look how easy that was. We go left once. Back to the right, and she can't reach it. Out, 15, Had a good start to this game. That was a poor one, but great return there, and it's a break point. Second Still, no breaks exist. That ball, not down the middle of the line, but good call to be in. There's that an ace, and we did get that break, so we're in a great position, and we immediately come back with an ace at a 30 love lead. Another ace, 40 love. And we can make it 5-2. And another ace. Three aces in that game. Wow. Phenomenal. Oh, somebody's on fire after finally getting a break. Five games, two. We don't even need a break here. We can put it home with service. It'd be nice to break back-to-back, -back, though. And just steal all that momentum. That first break of the match has seen a massive momentum switch in our favor. We have played phenomenally, painting the edge perfectly in the last couple of minutes here of play. She's attacking well, though. Stays alive. She's up 40-30. Probably will take this game. Yes, she does. 5-3, but she, she definitely didn't steal any momentum with that game. I mean, we looked good. She did, she did enough there to win the game, but it definitely did not dominate, did not swing any momentum. Forced us to attack the net, but we attack it well. 30 love. Couple points away here. Oh, well played there, though. 30 15. Not even a great ace. Match point, though. Oof. On the line. That touch to the line did not get the call. But we get the winner on the next point. Boy, we never got any favorable decisions in that match, but uh, we win it nonetheless. Once we broke her, we stole that momentum, and that is now our biggest career victory. International, we're beyond that 100 level now. Wow, Thurman is so greedy, though. Every single time. Every single time. She has claimed a victory at a higher level than what she has had prior she asks for a renegotiation. Uh, we're we're going to give her a partial. I'm not going to keep her thrilled. She's happy enough as it is. We're going to give her the 2% drop. So it'll take her to uh, 32 from 34. And that sees us climb into the top 100, as expected. That's a pretty solid haul of points. And getting that top 75 is looking pretty likely. Her hobo. Now recovered from her injury just in the last few days. Just began training once again. So the morale is good. Her physical condition is good now. But she has absolutely no shape. I have begun to set up her tournament registrations as well. With an eye on not going crazy. Uh, knowing that she's going to fly up those rankings pretty dang quick. So one tournament on two weeks off low level stuff to get her some confidence to build her shape and she should be able to do well in those tournaments she was doing well in the tournament she was in at the time when she took the injury she was in the third round already and had dominated the first two rounds was dominating that third round when she had the injury and had to withdraw immediately from the tournament two ways to improve morale one is win one less training so we're going to give her a little bit of time off 
Paddle Court's construction needs my attention. We can either spend 30000 to get it done on time or see a 25-day 25 delay, 25 delay in the project. While we do have 30000 to spend, that's a lot of money as far as our regular income goes. I mean, we are up to about 30000 a month in terms of profit, so it would cost us one month worth of profit, which isn't a lot. But I could be patient. 25 days is not that bad. Now that we've won what is technically a 100 level, the next level is 125. However, of all the levels that exist at Pro, the 125 is the one that you see the least on the calendar. It barely exists on the calendar. There's not much happening with it. It's kind of an intermediary between the lower level tournaments and into the proper professional ranks where you're going to see some higher ranked players show up. So at 125, you can see early in the season, there's only two tournaments through the first 16 weeks on the calendar. There is a little stretch where you have kind of a 125 season, quote unquote. We even get three of them in week 23 and then entering the grass season, you still get a little bit more, but then they die out again. Uh, starting in the kind of post 30 week, there's a less and less of them from 40th beyond. You know, there's only a handful. They're there, but it's definitely not a frequent option. But then one level beyond that is the level that we need to see some success when it comes to Clarice. We've won a tournament in this other range now. Our rank in the U.S. is exactly where it needs to be currently, which is 15th. Top 70 is just 11 spots away. Now to get a perfect score on the season instead of just a trifecta, we need to qualify for a Grand Slam. So we actually don't even have any big ranking options. So jumping to a 280, I'm going to get our feet wet and see how we do there. It's going to certainly help with qualifying for a Grand Slam if we can have some success, but we don't need to do anything major there. We can take those 125s, that intermediary when available, or even stick with those 100s, which, you know, AKA 140s. Uh, be really nice if there was really only one ranking level because you look at it from one side you it says 100 you look at it from another side it says that it's an international 140 if we only had one naming mechanism i'd be happy for those of you who are ultra familiar with the sport please tell me in the comments below is that a thing in real life too or is that just a like english translation issue with the development of the game but with that we skip on to two tiers higher a 250 slash 280 this is what i'm talking about it's it's labeled in two different manners the 100 is also a 140 which is it can we just settle on one please either way thurman gets a wild card for this one so she is unranked but she may be unranked as it nah kruger isabella kruger 83rd comes in as the eighth seed and final seeded player. We would have been the eighth seed. Brantmeyer is who we would have been up against for that one. So interesting there. Uh, instead, we're going to have Zakharova. That's it, folks. Out in the first round. I was hoping to get a Katrina Scott matchup against the two seed to see how we fared against somebody much higher in the rankings, which probably would have been something like this. Very very close match five seven seven six six seven two of the sets going to tiebreakers the ones that we lost there looked like a single break uh, in terms no, actually there was a little bit more happening here uh and it looks like we were almost the better player on the day this was crazy close 50 50 in terms of points won. she literally won a single point more than clarice uh break points saved though each faced quite a few 10 times Clarice faced a break point but lost six of them. So she was broken six times. But meanwhile, Zakharova faced 16. She faced that much more. Better save percentage though. She saved 11 of those. Only lost five. 
I lost six, she lost five. That seems to be the difference. The break points uh, pivotal in this one. Match winners, very close though. Yeah, okay, minus six, but compared to the number there was, not much. Unforced errors, plus two. Total forced errors, plus four. Really tight, really, really tight. I think those break points, that's, that's the difference. I can't say with certainty, but fairly confident that we have a new feature added into this game. Small thing, subtle thing, but definitely makes a difference to manage your academy. In the past, you had to go athlete by athlete by athlete and handle their individual, micromanage their individual training sessions to have them train a certain way. Now, there's a quick general technique, physics, or tactics focused training. Now, of course, it's going to keep them balanced, normal, and that's going to be that. But it's still a better way to do things uh, while maintaining a fast pace if you want to maintain a fast pace within the game. So I, I really like that they have added that uh, and physics exactly where I want her to focus. So go for it. One week later, Thurman is into another large tournament another 280 and you only get one point for round of 32 so that quick exit hurts you've got to get at least one win to pick up 30 points to really have any sort of calculable amount that's going to help you prize money is good right off the bat i mean our share is about six thousand uh, for a round of 32 exit and you know that goes up by a couple thousand for the next round so not making a huge difference until you get a little bit further prize money wise but it's those ranking points. You go from 1 to 30. Big, big jump. So you got to get out of the first round, Thurman. With this draw, not looking like she's going to get out of the first round. It's a 15th ranked player. So I, I think I need to be kind of putting her firmly maybe in a step lower. But I think she can win some, some rounds here. I mean, one thing that's important is not just, here's the draw we got today. I need to look at what the field, what the pool is like. How many of these players do I expect to beat? And I'd say that Thurman right now could rank somewhere around 75th, but quality wise, she's probably somewhere between that 75th to 100. I can play smart. I can put her in the right tournaments that's gonna help her rank reach that top 70. But in terms of quality, where do I expect her to be? Probably just inside that top 100 right now maybe 85 to 90 plus therefore how many are there how many could i realistically expect to beat on well, this bottom portion of the bracket i'd say four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen especially the qualifiers 13 out of 32 meaning we've got about a one in three chance to get the points necessary out of this tournament. But is this where we need to be competing to get those points? Is 30 points valuable enough to get one out of three times? Meaning I could expect to average well, 10 points for one out of three, plus one point in the two losers, about 12 points. I, no, that would be 11, right? Just about 11 on average. Wow. <laughs> Gossip Kina. 14, 15, wherever you want to place her ranking-wise. Not great at net play, but my oh my, is that a web that we could only dream of right now? She is a much better player than we are. I don't even want to see the pain punishment we're going to endure here. Uh, and she's in excellent form. Bye-bye, uh, first round us. Kasekina did not kick our behinds, though. She beat us comfortably. 4 6, three, six. Uh, We put up a okay showing. So looking and planning ahead a little bit, uh, we don't expect, though it's week eight, week nine's coming up real soon, we don't expect from 15th in the rankings that uh, Clarice is going to feature for the United States at the World Cup, whether they are in the qualifiers or not. But what I do want to look at, though, is the Grand Slams. The Australian Open, we tried to get straight in. We were turned down. Now, my ranking has improved by 20 spots. Maybe we can get in, but probably not. Draw size is 128. We are certainly in that top 128, but many 
come through qualifiers. How many? I don't know. 14? 20? 10? Top 100 should be enough. Top 80 should be enough. Just in case, though, we're going to try qualifiers. We're going to try to get in that way. So French Open qualifiers. So week 21, 22, I need to keep set aside. Otherwise, I need to start checking what my options are for grabbing points otherwise to improve our ranking a little bit. We still need to climb into that top 70, and we need to try to get into that Grand Slam. So planning out my next little period is going to look like this. We just finished up week 8 with a back-to-back -back 280 or 250, whatever they want to call it. A first round exit here. We suddenly have no form. So in two weeks, when we come back from the World Cup break, we have a small tournament. Give us a chance to uh, have a bit of a boost and start rebuilding form and morale because her morale dropped after I only gave her the 2% instead of the 4% that she was looking for. Apparently I should have just zero. Actually, the morale's already fixed. So we fixed that. It's just the form that's not there right now. Three weeks later, I've got her in a 80 level. Small tournament should be able to come away victorious there. Two weeks after that, another 80 level to keep up the form. We're not going to score as many points with that. Points available though. It's 130. You come away with a, a win. That's still a decent haul. That's a lot better than the 30 that we're getting from a poor performance elsewhere. So that's going to boost the ranking. Meanwhile, 125 for week 18. That could and should be enough to set us aside, but I'm not sure we're going to come away with a win on that one. So I have included a week 20, 100 level. Again, another good opportunity to grab some good points, but not necessarily guarantee anything. But it's week 21. I'm not showing it here because I restricted the range where we have that qualifier. So we do have some weeks of training here. Not as much as I would like. Uh, two, three weeks of training. Four, five weeks of training. Six, seven weeks of training. Well, six weeks of training because the World Cup qualifiers is a week off. Seven weeks of training in the build-up to the French Open. And then tournaments all of which are a little bit on the lower side. Opportunities to win all or most of those during that stretch, to have good form, a decent amount of training, high morale as we hit that French Open qualifier and hopefully can qualify. By that point, I think we'll have enough points and hopefully qualify. That would, uh, that would put us in. That would, that would put us in at that point and be done with all of our goals for the season with a fair bit of season still to go where I can at that point back off to two off one on two off one on and and get some good training for the rest of the season and see Clarice's uh, ranking maybe hold a bit better at that point for the remainder of the year and also at some point see our finances be good enough to get another uh, upgrade going looking decent right now at 135k making 50k a month when you add in our winnings at the moment that's that's definitely helping us out the payout is pretty decent uh, on prize pool as we're playing a bit higher here uh, and with two athletes so we're doing pretty well at 50k that's going to do it for this episode though i'm decathlon gamer like comment subscribe and i'll see you next time have a good one be safe out there bye for now